We're going to look at the clone tool and how the darken mode can help in certain situations. What we've got here is a, a forest scene and near the top there's some quite bright areas which are a little bit distracting. So basically I want to clone those out. So what we need to do is pick up our clone tool, go over and create a pixel there. So we don't want to clone directly on the on the master image. So we're going to pick uh, this extra layer to do the work on. And before we start cloning, we've got to change from current layer to current layer and below. So it will pick up the information from the master image. Now let's just come in here into this area. Now we just pick, uh, press the Alt key down and pick a suitable area. And we can just start cloning in as well. The hardness is a little bit harsh there, so I'll just control Z, turn the hardness down, and let's start cloning in. I can make my brush a little bit bigger. Be careful, particularly with branches, um, whenever you need to, just, just reselect your area um, so that you keep the branches out. Now, as you can see, it's very easy to, to go over a small branch in this area here. Now, what we can do, if we set the uh, blend mode to darken, you can see the effect straight away. The darker branch isn't covered by the foliage. And this just makes life a little bit easier when you're uh, trying to clone out certain areas. And that can be very useful. Now the, the trick is to keep keep moving your selection area so that um, you're not actually knocking into, into branches. And I would always suggest, rather than painting with a, uh, a flow, just just dab, just click click and dab, clip, move, click, move. And you can see here, uh, that will be okay. I'll actually add a branch, but that's fine. And if we come over to this area, we need to select a new area. It's a different um, density. But you can see as I go up near the edge, you can see it's not affecting the tree trunk as much. Now, it's not to say it's going to affect it at all. Uh, it depends on the darkness of the tree trunk to where you're uh, picking. So if you're doing, for instance, uh, silver birch trees, this technique wouldn't be as useful uh, because because of the lightness of, of the actual branches on a silver birch. But anyway, using this technique, you can start blocking out. If you make a mistake like I did there, just pick another area and come in and recover. Let's just see what we've got there. Turn everything off, on, off, on. That looks a little bit patchy there. So let's uh, come here again. Just a couple more picks. There we go. And we'll now we'll start working on this area. And basically you can just work your way through. You do want some light coming through, obviously. Um, but you can take the big open areas out, which are a bit of a distraction. There we go, that's a big open area. Same here. You can see what I'm doing is I'm coming into an area, I'm moving over, finding, pressing the Alt key, getting a selection from that local area, and just adding it in. So pick here, bring it across, so that you're, you're keeping the correct colors in, in the local areas. And click again. If you use a fairly big brush, um, one, it takes less time, uh, and two, um, you can make it fairly random, and particularly with uh, foliage, you just want a single click, you don't want to drag, because that will, that will tend to um, 
you'll get repeats and you, you'll see you'll see those areas so let's have a look now off on off on and already that, that's looking uh, less distracting just maybe this area up here so click click uh, probably let's, uh, you can also use the opacity to drop down the effect and might do one or two clicks instead let's turn the opacity back up that area we go that's probably one on the edge edges tend to um, be distracting so one little edge up here let's pick over here let's just fill in the top so we've got more of a common green border there we go and I think that will do. We don't want to remove everything, but that is certainly less distracting than it was before. Thank you.